Hello, good afternoon. Uh, it's Concor Fiatis. I'm the CEO for Flydeal, uh, Saudi Arabia's newest airline and the low-cost airline arm of the Saudi Group. Good afternoon. I appreciate you taking a moment to speak to Breaking Travel News today. A newest airline in the region, as you say, just uh, operational for seven months now. Tell us a little bit about the motivations uh, behind the carrier. Well, uh, I mean, Saudi Arabia is, is going through an, a massive transformation, more, more generally speaking, rather than just in aviation terms. And uh, a, a big part of that is, uh, is a 2030 vision, which is around creating economic stimulus and diversification of uh, business in Saudi Arabia. Um, the aviation industry is long-founded and well-founded in, in Saudi Arabia, but uh, the low-cost airline market, not just in Saudi, but in the region, is quite immature. Um, the uh, the low-cost entrants so far have been very much a hybrid model and we've seen an opportunity to stimulate the market and actually grow a larger pie of travellers, not just in Saudi Arabia but through the region, through the establishment of a pure low-cost airline which are very prevalent in other parts of the world, but less so here. Uh, Saudi Arabia itself is growing all the time, new destinations there, but you're concentrating on the domestic market at the moment. Is that going to change in the mid to long term? Oh, absolutely. I mean, the uh, the both from an outbound travel point of view for Saudis, and they're, they're really avid travellers, as I think most people know, but also the inbound potential that's there, not just because of the, uh, the, the you know the, the sacred sites which exist in the kingdom, which are unique and have global appeal, but also with the 2030 vision where Saudi is looking to diversify far more into tourism um, and more broad tourism than, than, than the, what's currently there. Uh, and from that uh, perspective, we see uh, enormous um, international market opportunities. Uh, we're an Arab body operator right now, and uh, I guess to start off with, I mean, there's so many dots we could choose to kick off with. It's easier to get a, a domestic foothold and focus, particularly as, as an airline of Saudi Arabia. But we definitely have aspirations for international, and we expect those to uh, happen sometime later this year. I understand you've leased a number of A320s at the moment. Can you tell me what the product is like uh, on board? So uh, we're, we're privileged. As a startup, often you get uh, used aircraft in, in, in many airlines around the world. We're privileged in that we've kicked off the airline with brand new Airbus A320 aircraft. Um, so from that point of view, they're, they're fantastic operationally because they're, they're reliable, they're brand new and, 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 and very, uh, very efficient. Um, uh, we've gone for a very sort of vivid and bright color scheme, uh, a very, if you like, sort of audacious and vivacious personality for the airline. The interior of our aircraft reflects that as well. We've reflected a latest generation seat that we have on board as well. It's very comfortable, but more importantly, it's such so contoured and slimline in design that it gives an effective greater space than most low-cost airlines. So it's a very comfortable product, and we've equipped it with some of the sort of the more modern conveniences that people would look for in low-cost airlines. We have um, um, uh, basically seat-back stands for people to load devices onto there or somewhere to sit and, and, and entertain themselves. We also have USB power, so people can stay can, um, powered up uh, for, for the duration of the flights as well. And I understand you're going to be placing a large order for planes in the next uh, perhaps 12 months. Is there any news you can uh, share with us on that? Well, we, we did issue an RFP uh, at the end of last year, um, and the RFP is for 15 narrow body aircraft, new generation aircraft. So, you know, the, the, the primary players here for the size of the aircraft that we're looking for are Boeing and Airbus. Um, uh, that campaign is in progress. We expect to make a decision on that RFP by uh, sort of July, August at the latest, uh, and an announcement soon thereafter. And we hope to be seeing the first of the new generation aircraft coming into the Fly Ideal fleet sometime in 2019, uh, depending on the selection that we make. Certainly a very interesting time for the destination and for the carrier. Thank Indeed. you. Thank you very Indeed. much for taking a moment to speak to us today. My Thank pleasure. you. Thank you also.